So this is going to be very casual. Okay, so I'm Adriana. I go to First Congregational Church of Long Beach, and this is Jose. He works at First Congregational Long Beach, and Jose is going to assist me in showing you our on-the-fly setup for doing streaming video uh, for our church services because of the coronavirus and the restriction on how many people can meet in one place. So um, Jose and I both washed our hands. We're not shaking our hands. We're doing elbow rub. Okay, so the first thing is, you, it is not a good idea to try to do streaming on Wi-Fi. It is much better to do it uh, plugged in. So we had our IT person set up a um, Ethernet switcher for us. It's the uh, Linksys brand. And so what happens, so you'll need A, an electricity jack, so that just plugs into the wall and we tape everything down so no one trips this one has multiple ethernet ports and then this is the ethernet cord going up 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 to the second story of the church up there in the corner right there that black box that's our actual router so we have two computers plugged into this ethernet cord and i'm going to show you what those computers are but that is the first bit of equipment is an ethernet switcher because you do not want to do this on wi-fi so our next two pieces of equipment are our webcam and it's a logitech 4k pro webcam and then an insignia I mean, you could get any brand. This is the one they sell at Best Buy. 12-foot USB 3.0. Do not get 2.0. It's for video. You have a lot of data going through there. You're going to get 3.0. So this is what that Logitech camera looks like up close. I mean, it's compact. And what's cool about it is it actually screws down onto a real tripod. This is the cord that came with the camera. It actually comes out of the back. And then the extension, so the, the cord that comes with the camera is only like three feet long. It's only supposed to go to your like desktop. And then here's the extension. And then the extension, nice and thick, 3.0 camera, goes into the back of um, the, the main computer that, that we're using. So I want you to see this tripod it's mounted on. Okay, this is, an act this is actually a tripod for a video camera. You see how smoothly that's turning so that there's no jiggle? That's because it's for a professional video camera, and you're going to want that uh, because when you, let me turn around, when the pastor is speaking, right, it's going to be pointed forward. But when the choir, you know, when the soloist and the guitarist sing or soloist and piano you're going to want to swivel and when the lay liturgist says his or her piece about the scripture for this that sunday you're going to want to swivel over there so make sure that you have a camera that i mean a tripod that is for a professional video camera so that that swiveling is smooth and easy this is um i, I i'm so sorry i don't even know oh this is uh, the Manfrotto 2Ts band. I don't know if that's coming in too clearly. Um, and you want to also lock the pivot because you don't want the camera going like this, up and down. You only want it going swiveling like this. Okay, okay so, I so that's that. something about these cables. Um, you have to be careful because there is a limit to how long the cable can be for the USB extender to the camera before it simply won't work. That limit is, um, I think it's 13 feet. So this one is only 12 and you don't want to go above 13 feet or else there won't be anything wrong with this cable and there won't be, any, and it's 13 feet total. So um, we're really pushing it as it is because this extension cable is 12 feet long and then the cable that goes to the camera is uh, three feet long. So you're gonna lose the quality of your video or the cable just won't work if you go over 13 feet. We are sacrificing quality of video, but we've got a 4K camera. So, you know, the, even a degraded quality is still gonna be pretty good. 
for the ethernet cables, and Tano, bring yours with you. We have to go from the, the switcher all the way here, all the way here, all the way here, all the way here, to the computers. That's actually not that far. That's actually not that far. And the absolute maximum that that cord for the ethernet can be to the switcher or directly to your router is 85 feet. After that, the, the, the amount of data that's gonna go through there is gonna be completely degraded and your streaming is gonna look awful if you're able to do it at all. So situate your uh, set in such a way that the cable from your computer to your router is no longer than 85 feet or it just won't work. All right, that's it. Okay, so now that we're logged in as the church, hit the create button. And hit, underneath that, you've got um, upload or go live. You want to hit go live. Okay, and it's gonna, okay. And then you don't, you, you, you want to hit allow. All right. Okay, now we're gonna be doing a, um, a new stream, but we're not gonna be doing it from our webcam. We're gonna be doing it from the webcam that's attached to the big computer, right? On the big computer is a piece of software called OSB, for, specifically for doing streaming. Mm -hmm. What we need to do is give OSB the key to our stream. So instead of choosing webcam, we're just gonna choose stream. So choose stream. And then the title we're gonna type in is gonna be First Congregational Church of Long Beach, Sunday service, March 22nd. Because that's what it is, right? Yeah. Okay, so then it, we are, it's already on public. Well, we can add a description later. We're not scheduling it for later. We're going to do it right now, right? Okay. And I will email you the custom thumbnail to put up there, and it'll be a JPEG, and you can, you can upload it on custom okay. thumb thumbnail. Okay, it's really important that we put no, it's not made for kids. Because if we put yes, it's made for kids, even though there's no cussing or nudity in our thing, it won't, they won't be able to do the live chat. And the congregants really like to talk to each other during the service. Mm -hmm. So you want to put no, it's not made for kids, just so that live chat will be enabled. Okay, okay hit create stream. Okay, then, you know, it loads. Now, what I want you to see is paste this stream key into your software. This is the one but we're not gonna copy it because we gotta give it to Dave, who will be sitting at the big computer. Right. So we're just gonna reveal it, which we're not gonna do right now oh, for right. this. <laughs> Write it down on a piece of paper and then hand the paper to Dave. Mm -hmm. All right, so hit, and, and that is how he gets it to start the stream. So then Dave goes, okay, I've put the key into OSB, hit done. Now what we need to do is we need to share with the church where the live stream is, right? So this is the share button right here. We click that share button. It gives us the URL. We click copy. Now, we open YouTube in another um, tab. Go back to YouTube Studio. Go back to our videos. And then that invitation where we told people in the invite, we told them, click URL below at 10 a.m. on March 22nd to join the, right? This is where we would cut and paste that because this is the invitation we put on Facebook, on in the Pilgrim, in our you know our newsletter, and so at like 
940 or whatever, 955 a.m. on Sunday, everyone's going to go here and they're going to look. Oh, mm-hmm. where am I supposed to go for the real stream? So we, you have to remember or else people won't know where the real stream is. Okay. Okay. So that's that. So then go back over. So then once we do that, we can we hit make sure to hit save. I mean, you didn't change anything, but when okay. you do, you hit save. And then people will know where to go. Okay. So, so then when, when OSB is running, when Dave has put the proper key into OSB, mm-hmm. you will start to see the set that we have running through the, the good camera on your screen. What you want to do is bring headphones and plug them in because the sound is like 20 seconds behind. And all you'll want to do is we'll start at 940, right? Mm-hmm. And all you'll want to do is test. Does the piano sound distorted or does it sound okay? Do the uh, voices of the preacher and everything sound distorted or do they sound okay? You start that around now 940 so that if there's a problem, you can fix it. Okay. So be here like at, at 930 at the latest, okay? Okay. And then if you and Dave decide everything sounds good, everything looks good, nothing sounds distorted, nothing looks distorted, then you hit go live. He's already streaming on OSB, but nobody could see it on our channel until you hit go live. Okay. Okay, so then you would hit go live.